<laughs> okay. Australian and American words. Number two. How's it hanging? How's it going? I'm dobbing you in. I'm ratting you out, narking on you. Joggers. Running shoes. Super. Retirement. Sauce some sauce. Source some sauce. Wiper blades. Windshield wipers. Swimming cozies. Swimsuit. Tracky derps. Sweatpants or wind pants. Muesli. Granola. Capsicum. Bell pepper. Mince. Ground meat. Tomato. 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 Mm hmm. <laughs> Tiny Teddy. Teddy Grams. Veranda. Porch. Paddock. Field. Thongs. Flip flops. Yes. <laughs> we wear thongs on our feet in Australia. <laughs> And when I came here and said, can I wear my thongs to this dinner? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't go down well, did it? No. You want to explain what it is? Uh, well, to the Australians watching this video, a thong in America is... Honey? What's a thong? You, you tell them. No, I think it's really cool that you tell them. No, you tell them. Well, let's just say <laughs> it's... It's underwear that isn't very aware. There's not a lot of the wear for the underwear. Anyway, moving on. Avo. Afternoon. Oregano. 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 Shop. <laughs> Store. Ta. Thank you. Ta. I checked out that wrong. Let me start again. Ta. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so start again. Ta. <laughs> thank you. Ta. Give it to me. Ta. The sticky black stuff? Mm hmm. <laughs> it's a very broadly used term in Australia. <laughs> He's up my bum. He's tailgating me. Take away. To go. Oh, she'll be right. It'll be okay. Idiot box. TV. Struth. Wow. Ah, oh, good on ya. Good job. It's chock a block. Okay. Since I'm from Texas, we say we're fuller than a tick in a blood bank. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeehaw. Okay. Fags. Cigarettes. And don't say fag here. Yeah, I actually have picked that up. <laughs> have to, it's, not a, it's not a good term. No. <laughs> and I'll, I'll just leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> but any Australians visiting, uh, any smoking Australians visiting America, do not ask where the fags are kept. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Posty. Mailman. Nick off. Go away. Get stuffed. Forget you. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. USA, USA. <laughs> spew. <laughs> Vomit. Oh, spew. That stinks. That's right. Australia has a word that means both vomiting and also something is not very good. <laughs> And both can happen. Like you can say, oh man, you spewed. Oh, spewing. Fortnight. Two weeks. Caravan. Trailer or camper. Motorhome. RV. Full cream milk. Whole milk. Kangaroo. Texan killers. Texan killers. <laughs> so I took Christy back to Australia and she wanted to see a kangaroo. And where I lived, there were kangaroos. And I was joking with her. <laughs> that kangaroos don't like Texans and that they can smell you at a distance and they will go you. They will attack you as a joke. <laughs> so we went into this paddock, this field, and there was a kangaroo and it was about up to my chin. It was, it was big but not massive. And we got closer and closer and this kangaroo seemed very friendly and I said to Christy, I think it's tame. We took photos of this beautiful creation, at which point... <laughs> It turned into a maniacal killer and it looked at us and charged us and started bouncing at top speed. I, my first instinct was to throw Christy at the kangaroo. No, no. I, I grabbed Christy and I put her behind me and I thought someone's going to get hurt today. And I dropped my shoulder and right at the last moment, the kangaroo swerved and took off into the paddock. So yes, 
Any Americans visiting in Australia, they will kill you if you're from Texas, <laughs> or they will attack. We have evidence. And just as an aside, there are lots of really dangerous animals in Australia. I think we have seven or eight of the ten most de deadliest animals live in Australia. Kangaroo is not one of them. <laughs> I don't know anyone who's been attacked by kangaroo. They're very, usually very tame unless backed into a corner. But this was an open field, an open paddock, so it was very strange. <laughs> anyway, jam. Jelly. Jelly. Jello. Hello. Hi. Indicators. Blinkers. Bonza. Awesome. Coriander. Cilantro. Whippersnipper. Weed eater. Whippersnapper. Kiddo. Gardening. Yard work. Hyundai. Hyundai. Nissan. 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 <laughs> Texter. Markers. Big Smoke. Big City. Fair Dinkum. No Lie. Yeah, as in, oh, Fair Dinkum. <laughs> Wish to be like, honest. No Lie. No, no one really in Australia says that. It's like an old thing. In fact, if you were in Australia and said, oh, fair dinkum, people are like, are you okay? That's okay. We use whippersnapper uh, when we're really old. When you're really old, you use it? No, no, no. When you're really old, if you're going to talk about a kid, you say whippersnapper. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, you have but it as well? But only really old people use that term. So when you need to cut the grass down and you're old, you use the whippersnapper? <laughs> you do. You get the kids to do it. It's in that whippersnapper. Whippersnapper, get the whippersnapper. <laughs> uh, snags. <laughs> Sausages. And finally, stroke. Don't say that here. Pet, like pet the dog. Don't say stroke. Now this is actually really did get me into trouble. Like I was with family and I really did say, can I stroke your cat? <laughs> <laughs> to which they all looked at me like, <laughs> is this an Australian thing? <laughs> so that is part two of Australian and American words. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> okay. What do we do now? You meant to look at the camera because that's the cutoff, but oh. anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're like, at the end of the video, you're going to be like... <laughs> How was that? Right. That was good? Yeah. Yeah. Anything you want to say? No, can you turn it off, please? Okay. Meep, meep. No, can you really turn it off? No, it's